everyone, it is Mona. I'm in the craft room and I have a new craft for you today. I am going to be making a resin bowl and I've done two before. If you remember, I had the jelly bean bowl that I made last Easter and this one I made using this mold and this one is my pistachio bowl which I use for changing my foyer and that I did not have a mold. I kind of, you know, did saran wrap in a bowl and stuff like that. You can find the video tutorials um, for both of these at my website www.craftcrotch.com or on my channel. And I've been wanting to do a glitter bowl so I thought this is what I'm going to do. Now this is a two part mold. This is a top mold that I'm going to be setting in here and when we get that far I'll show you how to do it. But I think I'm going to do multiple pours on this only because I'm going to be using different colors of glitter. Now I've prepared my resin. I'm using the Easy Cast resin and you can find that at Hobby Lobby Michaels online at resinobsession.com or if you need more information to find it internationally go to www.eti-usa.com and you will find a listing there where it's available internationally. Now I've prepared some resin and I don't know if I prepare too much. I was originally going to start with just one color but I think I'm going to try something a little bit different and I am pouring it into a separate cup because I don't like to mix my glitters in this cup because it's hard to clean then. It's easy to clean just the plain resin out of a cup like this but glitter sticks everywhere and it's you know it's hard to get it clean and then use it for other projects when you need something clear. Now I'm planning on sticking with some pink and purple glitters <clears throat> and I might throw some other stuff in there just for the fun of it as we go. And I don't have any clue if this is going to turn out well or not well, but I'm going to use a combo of chunky glitter and some fine glitter. So I got the purple going. Then I think I'm going to add some of this little confetti stuff into both of them. I think what I'm going to do is just sort of start pouring kind of randomly so they kind of run together a little bit here and there and wherever. If it sticks on the side a little bit, it sticks on the side. Hoping that that will create a little bit of interest. You're going to take your inner piece and I filled it with rice. So you got to be careful. You don't want any rice in there. But I'm going to place this in to the resin just like that. And then I'm going to spread the rice. Just tap it down a little bit and make sure that my bowl, does, my bowl is looking round. Now we're going to let this sit for 12 hours. We'll come back, see how it looks, see if it worked, and then we'll come back and do another layer. It's been over 12 hours and I peeled away the inside mold right here and I realized how it, it looks pretty good and it feels pretty solid. My concern is that it's really, really thin. So I thought about it and what I'm going to do is pour some resin in here, a layer of resin in here, let it dry, let it kind of settle and, and cure on its own without putting the inner mold in. And that way, that will give me a thickness, however much I put in there, that will then, after it's cured and I put this back in, instead of it going all the way down, it's going to stay up a little bit and that's going to give me a little more thickness all around the entire bowl. And I'm not trying to match, but I'm using the same colors. And I'm not even bothering to put the fine glitter in this time. And all I'm going to do is pour it into the bottom. Let it spread around. Let me see how thick it is. And I think that's thick enough. So I'm going to let this sit. I'll just put it aside, let it sit, and we'll come back after 12 hours and do the next layer. Hopefully the final layer. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I'm back to work on the bowl and do the next layer. This inner layer has now cured and now is the time that you can do different things if you wanted to and you could even you know decoupage some stuff on the inside or put some stickers on the inside if you wanted but I would say just really flat stickers if you're gonna do that but I'm not gonna do that I'm sticking strictly glitter and I'm gonna pour some of my resin into a cup I'm gonna use some more of this confetti and I'm kind of thinking I have a lot of the other glitters and stuff on the outside. 
I think I'm just going to do the confetti on the inside. So it might be a little bit different, but you'll still see the pinks and the purples shining through. So when I feel like I have it well mixed, I'm going to just dump it right in there. And now I'm going to take my inner piece and gently put it in there. So I'm going to spread this around so it's nice and circular and keeps its shape. So in 12 hours we'll come back, I'll peel it off and we'll see what happens. I'm back to unmold the bowl and I'm pretty excited about this. So the first thing I'm going to do is dump the rice into this other bowl and I'm going to just carefully pull it away from the sides first. And then pull it up like that. And now I'm going to pop it out of the plastic bowl and peel it off of this layer of the mold. And there it is, looking pretty sturdy. Now these are some very thin pieces that we're going to be cutting off. And it looks very matte. It has a very matte finish. And there it is on the inside, there it is on the outside. So the next thing we have to do is I'm going to have to paint a layer of resin on the outside to bring back the shine. I covered my work surface with parchment paper. I have mixed my resin and I'm using a disposable paintbrush. And all I'm going to do is paint over the side of the bowl. And any excess resin is going to just run right down and drip onto the parchment paper, which is fine. We don't care, that's why it's there. But you want to make sure you get the whole thing covered. And then we're going to let it sit for 12 hours as we normally do. But can you see the difference in the shine once we put that on there? It brings all the, the sparkle and the shine of the glitter right out. And I put it on on top of a pop can and that just is so that it's raised up and that way it won't pool around the bottom of the bowl and that's one more thing we would have to worry about cleaning up this way it'll just drip around it we don't care about the pop can we don't care about the parchment paper so we're good and then spin it around and look at it from a different angle just to make sure you got everything so in case you did miss something, you can quick touch it up before it dries. Now let just let it sit here for 12 hours and then we'll be back. The bowl has dried and now it's time to cut it down. Because we have this very uneven edge at the top, I'm going to cut it down. And for that I'm going to use my rotary tool. And I happen to be using a Craftsman, but the Dremel tool is really the most popular one out there. Um, either one works. And if you don't have a rotary tool, May I suggest that if you ever consider getting getting a, a tool for your hobby, this is a great one because it does so many different things. This is what I use for drilling. I can cut things with it. There's all kinds of different things that you can do. Now if you're like me, and I couldn't get it quite straight by doing it my original way, I thought of a better way to cut this would be on the edge of a table, place your rotary tool and hold it there really firm and find the lowest, and you can put your leg underneath the rotary tool if you need to, to support it. <clears throat> but find the place where you cut the lowest, put your rotary tool right up against there, and then you're going to turn it on and you're going to slowly spin this around and it's going to even everything out. I have prepared my resin again and this time we're going to use it to paint the inside just like we did the outside we're going to paint the inside of the bowl so use a disposable brush and some resin and just make sure you get all of the parts covered. Here is the bowl all finished and you can see the different colors of the purple and the pink from when I originally squished the two colors in that very first pour and on the inside I used I finished it off with just the confetti and you can still see that pink and purple through to the other side but it's really nice and sparkly this bowl is great to add to your room decor 
it's got a little glam to it. You can put, you know, store some nail polish in there, paper clips on your desk, all kinds of things, you know, anything you can think of. And I also did this paperweight, and you could use it for a lot of different things. You could even, you know, glue this to a bunch of different things, and I made it in this mold, and I did it with a bunch of leftover resin. When I was working on this and some other stuff, I just poured a bunch of the leftovers in so you can see that it's in layers. And if you want to see me make a paperweight or something of this nature, then go ahead and leave it in the comments below, and I'll do that in the future. And we will see you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you give it a try. And if you like crafting or this project, remember to give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.